Okay, so we're going to check out Wonder Boy Returns Remakes, being played on the Switch. Uh, this, is about, uh, excuse me, this is done by um, uh, Playcastle Games. Uh, big shout out to uh, to them and uh, to Kim Sinwoo for allowing me to review this game here on my channel. really appreciate it. Um, and let's uh, jump right into it here. Alright, so we've got some options here. Pretty basic. Got sound, button, and language options, as well as credits. Let's get right into the game here. Uh, if you guys hear any construction, I do apologize. I was doing work on our building, and, uh... And, yeah, so if you hear that, I, I can't... I, uh, I apologize, but, uh... Hopefully you guys don't hear too much of that. So we've got, uh... We can play, uh... Practice mode, which we play as, uh, Tanya. Um, and then you've got, uh... Tom Tom, which is normal mode. You have one coin, which is professional. Uh, no stage select, and you get the second ending. Tom Tom, normal ending, stage selection, ending one. Tanya, no ending, always angel, so always um, uh, have uh, uh, invincibility. Um, and practice mode. Um, so, I prefer playing normal mode, so I have the stage selection option. Um... And so we're going to play Tom Tom mode. And I'll show you the first stage. Um, so each stage is broken up into four parts. Um, there are a total of, I believe, eight stages. Yep, eight stages. Um, as you can see, I'm on stage five. So I haven't quite beat the game yet. Um, but this is an awesome game. Um, I've really enjoyed what I've played with it so far. I do plan on completing it. Um, it is a pretty awesome game. So we're going to go and start with uh, level 1 here, or well, level 1-1. One, one. Alright, I love the music. Um, so, you gotta keep moving. Um, you collect fruit to keep your health bar up. Uh, very reminiscent of um, uh, Adventure Island. Which I believe this is this game is uh, based around, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can hold the um, X button to uh, do a big, uh, big weapon throw that allows you to kill multiple enemies at once, as well as take out the rocks. And um, the faster you move and jump, the higher of a jump you have, so it's momentum based. Um, and uh, yeah, so here we go. So you gotta, oh, here's a skateboard. Um, I tend to try to shy away from the skateboard because I really don't care for it. And I'm not going to probably do very well because I'm playing through my camera, through my phone. Um, but uh, this game's pretty awesome. I mean, I played for I played this for hours so far, and uh, it's my second game, second third day playing this game. It's just, um, it's just awesome. It's an awesome game. Very enjoyable. Oh. And uh, this game actually was uh, developed around the idea of having kids play it. So it's more gourd, more, well, more gourd, more tiered toward, wow, I can't speak. More geared towards uh, children uh, rather than adults, so adults may find it a bit easy. Um, and that and that is entirely intentional. Um, but uh, fans of the Wonder Boy series, fans of uh, Adventure Island, are still going to find enjoyment out of the game, at least I do. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, although very frustrating. <laughs> it can get very, very frustrating. Um, the, uh, rocks do cause you to stumble, which does take time away. Um, uh, my one criticism... I'm gonna die. Um, I, I saw that coming. Uh, my one criticism is kind of the, the flighty controls. Um... Tom Tom and the other character do feel a bit flighty, like a bit slippery. Um, and that may just be a result of the game. Because um, I do hear the original game kind of did that. I mean, it's fine. Just, just get some. Get some. Uh, get, take some getting used to. Um, one other thing that I'll, I'll bring up, and I'm not sure if this was uh, due to the way the original game played or. Or what the case may be, but um, I love the music, and I wish that there was more varying tracks to the music. 
Um, I don't feel there's enough. Um, I mean, it is a soundtrack that I would I could see myself listening to on an iPod or MP3 player on my phone. It is that enjoyable. Um, I just wish there was more music. Um, there's just I think one or two, maybe three tracks at most. Um, and I just died. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on here. Um, let me show you. Let me show you the the last the the fifth stage where I'm stuck. Let's just do that, just to show you guys how kind of crazy it can get. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> like I said, I'm not gonna do very well because I'm playing through my phone. But guys, this is an, this is an awesome game. If you guys like. Uh, the Wonder Boy games, you guys like Adventure um, Island? Um, definitely worth checking out. Uh, it's not very expensive. It's on. I think this is a Switch exclusive, but I think it also might be coming to the other consoles: uh, PS4, and Xbox One, and maybe Steam. But I don't think it's gotten there quite yet. In fact, I know it hasn't been released yet for those platforms. So as of right now, it is a Switch exclusive. Yeah, at least this version of the game. I'm gonna try playing outside of my camera here, so we can get it to do any better here. Oh, I nope, guess not. <laughs> So practice mode is definitely a great mode to play if uh, you want to see what all the levels are about. Um, aside from the bosses, because there's no bosses in uh, practice mode, but it gives you good, kind of a good feel as how the game plays and kind of uh, uh, what to expect. Um, as far as I can tell, the bosses for uh, the, the stages um, aren't really all that varied other than the, 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 he the head that it wears um, changes. But other than that, and I think it might become a little more difficult, but other than that, it's the same boss. Which I think is also kind of disappointing. I wish there would have been um, more bosses in the game. Um, of varying bosses, like... When I first saw the, the enlarged enemies on the on the screen there for the stages, I thought, oh, maybe it's going to have uh, an enlarged version of that boss as the, uh, or enlarged version of the enemy for the boss, and that just wasn't the case. Which is kind of disappointing. But then again, I also understand that based on, on how the game is. Um, but, uh, I'm hoping that if they do another one, that it's you know, they, they take they, they take what I'm saying um, and what other people have sure have said about the game and kind of take it to heart and kind of change it up if they decide to do another one. I died. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great game. Um, I know a lot of people have, uh, well, some people have criticized it. Um, for uh, various things. Um, but, uh, I mean, at the core, I mean, it's, it's an amazing, amazing tribute game. Um, definitely want to think that a lot of people, uh, a lot of fans of these, of, uh, Two games I mentioned there will will enjoy. But I think one of the reasons why the bosses weren't varied, and again I could be wrong, but the fact that it was geared towards kids, they might have had something to do with it. Um, I mean, kids are going to be able to recognize patterns, um, 
and uh, that might be why the boss wheel wasn't changed all that much, so that it'd make it easier on the children to uh, get through those bosses. And I mean, this is all pure speculation, by the way. It's just based on what I've what I've read and what I've heard about the game. Um, I'm kind of what I'm taking away from from what I've read and what I've heard. So do take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. And it's the, once I kill my last life, that's going to be it. Oh. <laughs> One more life. That's another thing I'll bring up. I wish there was a way to get more lives. Um, I know it's kind of the arcade um, core eater type uh, mechanic there, but I really wish there was a way to gain more life. Or more lives. Um, but, uh... Well, it's a great game. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. That was my last life. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. And uh, as always, take care. Happy gaming.